Uh, oh yeah, look. Never been in jail, stand behind my bars, get up off my way, what to make the charge? Flower medicine, get it by the jar, living out your dreams, you can't sleep at all, and I got a job, working overtime, getting underpaid, never stop the grind, and I don't complain, I just keep on trying, wake up every day, thank God I'm alive. That's why I'm flexing like Razor Ramon Just booked a ticket to Europe for fun I network and double it up on my funds Come back connected like Trump Then I'm my money, I dump Ballin' like I was a mom Yo, chickens looking at my job Might have to hit it and run uh, I got room in the coop for just one more more. I'm so lonely About to cop me a coupe with just one door uh, Almost at the top Hey, I think I'm just one floor Away from achieving If I ain't succeeding Did it for no reason Hey I can't come back home unless I'm back on Till I put the track on, get my Mac on If I'm living color, y'all little like in my past times I can tell you slow and fast sound Okay, bitch, like in this back in the background When we you little niggas, I get that down This music is not my hobby But to me, music is my passion All my bitch, they're Asian, they look anime Shorty just have patience, bet I'm on the way Switching destinations, Uber on the plane Got a fascination to have bigger, better things And hey, uh, I gotta get it cause nobody gonna get it for me I gotta get it, nobody gonna Hi and welcome to another section of Jeff the Master Barber On this edition, I'm just gonna show you how I do my uh, mid-tie fade With uh, um, the comb over with the line and the, com the line to make the comb over and the eyebrows right now what I'm using right now uh, is the senior wireless but uh, cordless but the only thing that, that is different is that I switched the blade I put the bold in blade the reason behind that is I don't wanna I don't wanna keep using my detailers on the GTX especially the under GTX because it will it, with a lot of hair it will uh, the blade usually will get all defected um, it will get stuck so that's why it, so I got two senior cordless and then this one I put the magic clip the reason also behind it is because the magic clip the blade the cordless magic clip the blade that it came with it it, it has more thief and is is the crunch technology which makes it more better to, to fade in or cut hair. Uh, we will pass in the 116. Now we're going to pass the number uh, number one, guard number one, with the lever semi open, not completely open. And right away, we're going to tackle the, the line. You know what I mean? We, 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 we're not going to play with it in another sense. Now we're going to close the lever, and right there, I noticed some shadows some lines some little dots and whatnot so we're gonna pass from left to right right to left and um yeah i like this senior it's been definitely uh doing the trick it's it's solid it's it's, it's a little heavier but i like that uh it's solid powerful um you definitely feel like you have a, a good like one of, like you feel like you have the senior record pretty much only a little smaller but the the power and the and the firmness and the and, and yeah and the you know the potency. Right now we're using guard number two. Uh, this guard is the speed zero guide. I, I like this 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 guards. Uh, it have your typical guards have like six or seven tooth. This one has nine. It's more compressed, more tighter, but the same uh, true number. So this is a, a guard number two. And I have it right now with the lever open. Now I close it and I pass it where I'm passing it right there. Um, I've been off from um, YouTube posting videos, as you could tell, um, because, and, uh, and, uh, you know, like I, it was summer and I want to spend time with the family. Uh, this scar is number one and we go back now to smaller numbers. To tackle whatever the number two didn't grab, and as you can tell, it's starting to fade in. It's a process. You gotta you gotta play with the with the levels, and you gotta listen to you what you I see, and then you gotta listen to what the re reaction or the act that the mind tell you to do to find the solution. And you know, no every time you're gonna 
uh, you know, if, if you are a beginner, you're not going to have the, the, the action that you make. It's not going to right away come out the same, but you just got to persist. You got to keep trying. Uh, and that's, that's what makes, makes a, a good barber. Never give up. Always finding solution. Always finding wh what to do next. And, and keep, you know, striving to do the best and the best job so right now as you could tell we're using the 116 which is that guy I don't know other people call it the uh, half or, or whatever but in, I go with the numbers for the center back so right now after I did that now I took the 116 and uh, I'm using less than a little half but not completely half and we're gonna tackle the line right there and we're gonna continue past it right there right and brush it. always use the brush you know but use both hands one to use the machine and the other one to brush uh, whatever you uh, you know to scrape whatever you already cut there's some client the sweats and 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 uh, or have oily heads and uh the hair stand to to stick so sometimes you keep you thinking that you have a line or you have a, a, a or you or, or you still trying to erase a line well it's actually the hair is stuck so that's why I recommend you to use either a comb or, or a brush uh, this particular client has always come out from work real tired and as you can tell he's falling asleep and um, but yeah is we using the 116 again now we go now that we clean the line now we go back up again you see what I'm saying it's little details like that uh, we're using the series, uh, the Br Broom Series 9 electric shaver. This electric shaver is awesome. You can find them on eBay, Best Buy, or Amazon. Or uh, at least that's what, where, where you can find it. You know what I mean? Uh, I bought mine on Best Buy. I think it was $300. It's worth it. I've been having it already for almost a year. And um, definitely, I could, I could, uh, I could tell how good this machine is. It feels good in the hand. Once again, it feels solid, well built, and um, it, it definitely shaved nice and smooth. My clients could tell um, how the quality. You know, they said it feels smooth, quieter, quieter, and how tight it makes the the, the transition of the of the fade or. Or when I shave, or when I shave them with the uh, the face with with this electric shaver. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for those sixty six thousand subscriber. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for your patience. Um, just like I was saying in Spanish to the Spanish community, uh, I'm the type of person that I don't like to put video just to put videos. Um, I just want to make sure. Uh, I give something different every day or whenever I put something in YouTube and um, right now before I go, go further what I want saying we're doing the same technique that we did in the other side we're using like I said this is the senior with the uh, with the blade the blade is bolding it's from the wall bolding so I took the blade from the wall bolding and put it into this um, machine the cordless and uh, it's it's great because that way it, I don't it saves me time. The blade is wider, and the engine is more powerful than the, than the GTX, and it's cordless. So it has all the three things to make it uh, make to make your job a lot better, faster and cleaner, and save you trimmers to for for the better use of the lining or or, or shaping, and and you don't have to use it. So. Yeah, like I was saying, and then we're going to jump into the other senior with the magic clip blade, and we're going to use the 116, and we're going to do the same method that we did on the side. And uh, so, yeah, like I was saying earlier, thank you, those 66,000 um, uh, subscriber. And, yeah, the reason that I haven't been put out consistently um, material is because it was the summer. I want to spend time with the family. Uh, besides that too I just I don't want to put videos just to put videos I want to make sure I have good content 
uh, uh, good stuff that I could provide, show, and I don't want to put the same haircut or, or the same client. Uh, I, I just want to make sure I put good quality work, quality over quantity, always. So right now, we put the uh, the one, and uh, and as you can see, right away, we we right away uh, with the level semi open. Now we completely open, and we're gonna take the line or the shadow that the one semi open did, and then we're gonna go from left to right, right to left, and we're gonna go with the flow with the the hair. The hair goes down in a certain way, so we're gonna go up in a in that certain way. Uh, two, uh, like I said, this this uh, senior uh, cordless is awesome so far, so good. I have it already for almost three months. Uh, I have reviews, open reviews of this machine, uh, and definitely I have also review of when I switch the blade from the regular to the to the magically. Now we're using the uh, Gar number two Speed Zero Guide. Uh, and yeah, so always go left and we're gonna take that shadow and you see how the shadow right away is start like disappearing then I close the level and then we go over again from left to right right to left uh, the client's head keep going down because it's falling asleep and it's hard for me not to tell him not to sleep you know what I mean uh, I definitely sometimes have to hold his head with the other hand but it makes my, my job a little bit difficult. Um, it all depends on the um, how you feel with the client and, and why not, what kind of trust and what, whatever, you know. Uh, we back to the one, uh, yeah, one and a half, because we got the level semi open. Sometimes I use the corner. The corner helps a lot to um, just get that, that whatever, that little bit of darkness spots or shadows that you see. Uh, always when you going behind the ear see how I'm holding it with the left hand now uh, do that so that way you know what I mean you don't it don't bother him uh, always use the your left hand or if you are uh, lefty use your right hand to hold the the ear or, or, or vice verse um, and yeah just go from left to right right to left yeah it's all about knowing your levels Every level, every steps, and, and and what's the next level? To if you go up, what's what's the next level? If you go down, and 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 play with the level too. The level levels it needs a level, and and if you know how to play with the level right, and if you know how to keep, you know that stroke, uh, certain stroke too. The 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 lower you go, the smaller the stroke too. You gotta be on top of that line. You know what I mean? um yeah other than that just uh love what you do listen li listen what your mind is telling you what to grab next and uh and the mind uh have to uh what's the, what's the word that i'm trying to say the the mind have to grab what the eye see once, once the eye see that there's some shadow, the mind is gonna process. Okay, there's a shadow there we could use right now. No guards with the half. It's up to you then to take that voice that is telling you, pretty much. Okay, what will you do? Work, work. Okay, close the level right there. Okay, open the level right there. And um, once you go and really listen to that, and you put it into action. Right away, I'm not saying that it's gonna, you know, it's gonna happen. You're gonna still, still see that something is missing. Maybe the way you move your hand, the way that you stroke the the, the machine, uh, the way that you go from left to left to right, right to left. Uh, and but you know, that's stuff. But if you keep really listening and finding and going with what the mind is telling you and the eyes is saying, it is you should be able to. Uh, conquer or at least uh, achieve what you're trying to do and I just love you you your hands are putting what your mind is telling you and your eyes are seeing you should be able that's why you know I, I'm, I'm thankful for God they create this body the way they did everything how we use it you know like everything is useful every every part of, of a of a body is 
is needful. You know, you need your two hands. You need, you need your fingers. You need uh, you, your eyes to see. You need to, to so, so the mind could comprehend, and then the hands could could follow and and the motions. So everything in life is pretty much basic the same. You know what I mean? So um, another thing is just like don't give up. I mean, it's not gonna come out the first time, but you, you keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. Repetition until you know there's gonna come to a point that you're gonna you you could even do it with your eyes closed, but keep them open. You know what I mean? Like and uh, but yeah, this machine is awesome. The senior and 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 uh, the, the the electric shaver and this one. So yeah, both I have two. So yeah, I have two seniors, one with the magic clip, and why one with the bolding. Jeff, but why you switch uh, the blade from the senior cordless and you put a magic clip? Like I said before, uh, the reason behind it, the magic clip, the blade is a crunch technology, which it has more smaller tooth teeth. And it crunch, it, 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 it really, you don't have to go so much over and over when you're doing a fade. It's, it's so sharper that it definitely, it crafts the hair a lot better. So that's why I, I do that. The combination of a great blade with uh, the potency and the salt and how solid this machine is, 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 a, is a perfect machine for me. So in the back, you notice we do the same scenario. You know what I mean? We, we did exactly that we did in the side notice how i did the sides first and then the back this time that i do the side then the back then the other side it's all you whatever preference whatever how you feel you know once you achieve to what the 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 things i would do levels to do the fade and and know exactly what it is you just spice it up i switch it up you know so i don't get bored uh, you know and and test my skills I could do fade from top to bottom, bottom to top. I could do it by levels. I could do it without no levels. Uh, many, many different ways that I have developed once, and, and I'm always pushing myself to learn new new things, never stop learning. Because that's the thing. The minute that you think that you know it all, that's when you stop growing. You definitely, you know, you, you got to always... I find myself watching other barbers, how they do things, and I... And I say, okay, I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna try it like that, and and I find myself that I'm actually liking it when I do it, when I actually try. It. And um, so yeah, don't don't be, uh, um, don't do don't don't stop, and don't be afraid of not doing it because uh, you've seen it from another barber, and people are gonna be like, oh, he's copying me. R really, at the end of the day, it's you that is just doing it. Um, Right now, I'm using the the technique scissors over comb. I'm using the oyster scissors. There's a billion different um, scissors. Uh, in particular, myself like this one. That's why like there's different colors for every person. That's every color. Um, this comb has some big teeth and small teeth. The small teeth helps to act like a, a 116, pretty much. And uh, for the tight fades and rear in the bottom, I use the the small teeth. And as I get get almost to the top, then if I had to get a, like like a bulk of hair, then I use the big teeth. Right now, I'm gonna use the detailer, uh, the trimmers. These trimmers, uh, ever since they came in, I, it, they they were good. They were good, but there's some. There's some cons in it, you know. There's some stuff that I, I don't like. That probably other people may like. That's why we all have, you know, different preference and all that. But that doesn't mean that just because I like it, you're gonna like it, or just because you like it, I'm gonna it's gonna work for me. As uh, it works for you, it's not necessary like that. But we still, I still have them. I still give them a chance. I still do it. And and just like I say, well, people ask me too, why you barbers have so much trimmers? And it's because you know for different type of hair, or if one breaks, we have another one. And and in the process of finding the right tools, we we put a lot of tools into into our arsenal. So uh, this trimmer came out back in I think it was 2000, beginning early 2013. 
if I was not mistaken. And I, I did like it. That, uh, what I like is the, especially for the shape ups in the front, is very detailed. It's very sharp. The, the, I guess with the engine that it has, the rotary engine, it makes it uh, run in a different type of way. Plus, the client could be sweaty or have their hair wet, and it, it was still cut through through that wet hair like nothing. Uh, another thing that is very quiet for the kids is perfect, but I don't feel like it, it has that much power. So when, when I like a machine that you like the MDGTX. It is kind of heavy, uh, in a sense, heavy and solid. That's what I mean. Um, but you could feel when you turn the engine, you could hear it. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, the detailer uh, is still a great trimmer. Uh, I still have it. I, I, I bought it again just to to show that, I, that that it's one of my favorite. That if I have to get it, I have to get it again, and, and just to show you guys, uh, this is the technique that are the stylus, uh, and then go back again with the scissors over comb, even when it's wet, uh, do a dry or wet. The reason why I'm doing it now wet, especially where I I was cutting the other way, um, the other style, is because that part right there is is very short hair, so I cannot grab it the way that I grab it like this. Uh, this way it was a barber that teach me how to cut like this and to me it was more comfortable than the opposite the, uh, uh, you know putting the hand the other way with this I could see exactly what I'm cutting and then I could rest the comb on, on my thumb right there you see what I'm saying and then I could like I said if it's quick the action I cannot do it slow because I, I will lose the flow but what I'm saying is look if you watch carefully notice how with the with the comb i pick the hair and I, and then with my finger i kind of clip it and uh, or, or, or tight it and then i see the measurements what hair i need to cut and then the comb hangs so it makes the best um combo to to cut the top like it feels good in my hand it doesn't hurt my hand uh the the everything it, it works in conjunction really really well uh, normally I dry the hair with, with uh, some type of uh, hairspray or whatnot, but I'm going to show that you, even without no hairspray, you could still already put them some gel, uh, especially when the hair is semi-dry. Do not uh, One tip I'm going to give, if you want a hair to stick up real nice or, or put those little hair flat, just make sure the hair is, is basically dry, completely dry, and then put the gel. And then, you know, with the combs, with the big teeth, you're going to use that those so they could separate the hair more better. And then with your hand, you're going to kind of like, I'm going to show you in a minute, you know, like. And then the col and the collet, you always go exactly where the hair want to go so you don't force it. And then see, with the hand. And then the front, you lift it up like that. And then you're going to separate exactly where he wants the line. You kind of determine. Now, there's going to be some hair that after you put the gel, you're going to notice that it's going to see the, the part that it was in the corner in the front. You see, I'm going over and over and over. And, uh, and then we're going to go one more time. Those are what you call looking for details. And then now we're going to go and make the line. The line is not going to happen right away. Some in some occasion it depends from the trimmer, it depends from the angle, but don't be discouraged. Just you know what I mean. Don't press the trimmer just because you think that uh, by some way by pressing it you're gonna make it uh, a, a sharper or, or it's gonna print. It's not. The best way is actually when you do a little by little, lighter by lighter, and and flip it around. You know, like right now I flip it the other side. That's how you know you consistently and you keep going, moving it little by little, you know. And then with the comb, I put the hair down. Um, the trimmer in the blade, uh, sometimes it gets stuck some hair. So that with the finger, I kind of kind of like clean it up. So that way, it, the teeth is is very clean. At this point, I did put the shaving cream, but it didn't record that part. Uh, but I did put shaving cream. I'm using the Black Widow by Will Ocasio. Um, definitely a great, 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 great racer holder uh, for the last almost two years. 
I'll be using his product from uh, the Caesars to uh, the the now the the blade and he got hair pomade and everything and definitely I recommend it it's a very, very good product uh, right now I'm using Caesars of Ocom and that part right there because I see that there's some dark spot and then um, I'm gonna show you right now so you see the big teeth notice how the combs that acts like a number one one and a half so that's why we're taking from that area you can use the one one and a half if you want to it's just that with the scissors overcome i have better control uh i take what i want and and, and, and uh, i don't know i feel like i have better control or why what why i want to take uh and then you know i keep passing the blade little by little and see in the, in the combs and make sure that every angle is clean then notice see this part right here needs to be more sharp um when i look from from every angle it, it, it may look like it's done but it's not you gotta double check or triple check and uh as the minute that you you have something done uh it's like you still re have to rearrange make sure that okay now the hair right here is still have some hair there this needs to be a lot sharper right here so you know you gotta definitely still listen to the inner voice and you still gotta be you know what i mean like you wanna every single little detail like i always say i always cut everybody's like if it's jesus christ or, or god in my chair i uh, praise to the lord and you know uh, that's how I, I do like if it's god in my hair like if it's if i'm there if it if that's my hair or if that's my son or if, if he's going to a wedding and i want him to look sharp that's how i cut the hair you know i want him to look the best this is the shaving cream that i use bone pro is medicated olive oil pre-shaving menthol formula this smell like no word of a lie it smells like winter fresh not only if does it smell real good it works very very well because that's one thing about gels all see through now i can see and all that but this you gotta understand there's some gel that kind of makes you burn it has alcohol there's some other one that kind of dry the skin the, the the dry the gel dries too quick or it's too thick and you have to have a balance in in, the, in that kind of gel, uh shaving gel industry this one it won't irritate you this one when you put it on it is like a cool sensation it kind of feel uh, like a numb it in a good way kind of making like real nice so when you pass the blade over and over if you do it, it doesn't cause irritation um and yeah this it smells delicious and when you pass in the blade it feels like you're passing an ice cube you know what i mean it feels nice and cool um any smell like like i say smell real real nice like a winter fresh beer when i do it to to people or to kids they're like man it smell like like candy like gum um but also people tell me how nice and cool and the difference it was like wow what what kind of cream you use uh at this point i already have them pretty much all sharp i put a little bit more gel i'm just doing the final touches make sure that with my fingers i still give them the natural look uh, so this is what I call a mid mid tie fade uh, with the comb over the line and the comb over the line on the side and then I comb over to the side and now we're gonna put a little bit of shine and this the olive oil spray it just add more shine and it adds vitamin to the hair so yeah this is him before the haircut you know what I mean this is how two weeks without a haircut looks like you know what I mean and um shout out to orlando for letting me record this is like the second time around a couple of years ago i, I recorded him we did some different haircut of on hand and since he won the class he called it the classic look so since he won that i was like yeah sure let's do it so you know here we are we did the classic look i uh, hope you learn anything from it if you want me to keep rec um, doing these tutorials in english Please let me know below, down below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, uh, share it. That's all I'm asking in reality from the bottom of my heart. I do all this. The only thing that I ask is please share it. You know what I mean? And if you want me to keep in it, uh, doing it also in English, let, let me know below. My English is not the best, 
but you know I try you know what I mean I speak a lot of Spanish so I, I try to inform everybody well I hope you like it God bless keep in touch it's your boy Jeff the master barber signing out peace I gotta get it nobody gonna get it for me no I gotta get it cause nobody gonna get it for me I gotta gotta go go get get it